In this video, we are going to prove that the fundamental group of a topological manifold has countably many elements. Let M be an n-dimensional topological manifold. Since it is a topological manifold, it will have a countable basis of pre-compact coordinate balls. By coordinate ball, we mean a coordinate domain whose image under the respective chart is a ball in Rn. We will call our set of coordinate balls with this B in fracture font. At this point, we note that since all of the coordinate balls in our cover are open, and furthermore that finite intersection of open sets are open, for any pair of balls in fracture B, their intersection will be an open set, and thus an open submanifold of M. But since this intersection is an open submanifold, then it will have countably many connected components, and these connected components will be path connected. This is true in general for manifold. In fact, manifold have countably many connected components, which are all path connected. We now define X to be the set containing a point from each connected component of each intersection of a couple of sets coming from our cover fractor B. We allow the two sets being intersected to be also equal. In that case, we will just get B intersection B, that is B. We notice that since we're picking one point from countably many components of countably many possible intersection of balls, X is a countable set. Now, taking two points of our set X that lie inside one of our balls, we define H to be some path from X to X prime in B. We observe that there are countably many such paths, since they're indexed by three indices coming from countable sets. At this point, we recall a well-known fact from algebraic topology. That is that fundamental groups based at two points that are path connected will be isomorphic. This is because the path connecting them induces a group isomorphism between the two groups. For this reason, inside a path connected component, we can choose any base point for our fundamental group. Thus we can pick a point P from our set X from before and consider the fundamental group of our manifold M based at P. This is because just one point from each path connected component, by a previous consideration, will contain enough information. We furthermore define a special loop to be a loop based at P that can be written as the finite product of paths of the type HB of XX prime introduced before. Here product is to be intended as concatenation of paths, that is the operation with respect to which all multiple classes of paths based at a point form a group, the fundamental group. There are countably many special loops. This is true since they are, by definition, given by finite products of elements drawn from a countable set. The elements are paths of the form HBXX prime that we introduced before. Suppose we now have a path in our manifold M. We recall that a path is a continuous function from the compact interval 0, 1 to M. We will call our path F. We now consider a cover of coordinate balls M from before and we observe that taking the pre-images of these balls with respect to our path F will yield an open cover of the interval 0, 1. This follows from the continuity of F since pre-images of open sets under a continuous function will be open, and from the property of pre-images. Since 0, 1 is compact, our open cover will admit a finite open subcover. From this it follows that there will be finitely many a0, a1, dot dot up to ak, with a0 equal to 0 and ak equal to 1, and with a0 less than a1, a1 less than a2, and so on, such that the compact interval a i minus 1 ai is in the pre-image under f of some ball b in our cover b fracture. We will call fi the restriction of our path f to the compact interval ai minus 1 ai and we furthermore reparameterize it so that the domain is the compact interval 0 1. We call bi the coordinate ball containing the image of each restriction fi. For each i, we furthermore notice that f of a i will be contained in b i intersection with b i plus 1. And furthermore, there will be some x i in our set x we defined before that lies in the same component of b i intersection with b i plus 1 that f of a i lies in. Let g i be a path in b i intersection with b i plus 1 from x i to, to f a i with the understanding that x is 0 and x k will just be equal to the base of our path P and G0 and GK will thus be the constant path base at P. 
will be able to write our path f as the concatenation of the various fi's that is in turn homotopic to the following expression by utilizing the algebraic properties of the fundamental group. Here by j to the minus 1 we denote the that is just the path reversed. We will now call fi bar the following composition of paths, that is gi minus 1 fi composed with ji to the minus 1, that is the inverse of ji. For each i, our fi bar is a path in bi from xi minus 1 to xi. And since bi is simply connected, the latter is homotopic to hxi minus 1 xi in b. We have thus just shown that f is path homotopic to a special loop. This is because it can be expressed as a finite product of paths of the form h, b, x, x prime. And thus the fundamental group of a topological manifold is countable. With this said, I thank you for watching the video and hope that it was helpful.